Hi, welcome to another one of my movie reviews. Now, last night I watched the film Queen of Earth. This is another film I'd never heard about until I decided to start doing these independent film reviews. And it is a really good film. Although having said that, not everyone is going to like it. Now, there's not a lot wrong with it. Um, the story is good, the uh, acting is really good, the way that um, Elizabeth Moss who portrays Catherine is having a bit of a mental breakdown, she's just lost her partner, she's just lost her father and she's not coping at all well, she's extremely emotionally unstable and basically this story shows her decline and it is in places a little bit uncomfortable to watch and I was at times thinking wow you know this is really like a bit whoa and but it does accurately portray the kind of mental state that she was in. You know, the director wanted to get across that this character is having a breakdown and they, he did that really well. So you have to give uh, Alex Ross Perry uh, credit for that because he wanted to show an arty film and it is arty. He wanted to show a film where this woman is having a breakdown and you really get the sense that she's having a breakdown. But at the same time, this is also why a lot of people may not necessarily like it. Although it's extremely well done, everything about the film is well done. You can't really fault any part of the film. I mean, I was thinking right at the beginning, you know, I liked the camera work. It was quite arty and, you know, it looked like a lot of thought had been put into, you know, if they've got my actresses here and I put my camera here and I read it like so. You can see the thought process has gone into it that isn't just thrown together. But at the same time, not everyone is going to want to watch a film about someone having a breakdown. I mean, this isn't the kind of film you'd take someone on a date. Um, and I really, you know, <laughs> if if you're trying to impress a girl, don't don't take her to watch this film. Now, um, normally when I do film reviews, I watch the film and then I record what I think about it either the next day or when I get home if I've gone to cinema and I don't actually look at other reviews what other people have been saying about it but with this one I actually did because I wasn't sure where to start to be honest so I did look at other um, people's reviews online um, nothing on YouTube I haven't I don't know if there's anything on YouTube I didn't look but I just looked at some other things on the web and I have to agree with what other people have been saying, it is, you know, really well made, it is well written, it is quite a beautiful piece of art. So I have to agree with all the other things that I've seen, but at the same time, there were at points and I was going, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, you know, it's like, what just happened? And it is just like, okay, but, and there's a bit kind of in the middle and... Uh, Catherine says something to this guy that she's just met, she's met him outside, he's, he's like passed out in the front yard or something, she brings him in, gives him some water and then says something to him, I won't say what she says because it will be a bit of a spoiler, and then they just cut it, they just cut it, just like that, they go into the next scene, and it's just like, what? You know, it's, 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 you, you say this statement, it's, it's approximately right in the middle of the film, you say this statement and then the film just, it just moves on, and then you're just like left there thinking, Okay, did, 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 did that just happen? Okay, um, right. And then you kind of want to carry on watching to find out what happened at the end. I, mean, I won't say either. But, and you're just like, okay. So, the, the another um, main character, Virginia, played by Catherine Waterston, is like Catherine's best friend. So Virginia and Catherine are like best friends and their friendship is sort of breaking apart by the tension so you can see that they were best friends. They keep having flashbacks. When I was watching the first time I was kind of messaging someone on Facebook and not giving the film my full attention and I thought actually I'm like what's going on so I had to um, basically turn off my computer and go back to the start of the film and give it my full attention as like, oh, they're flashbacks, it makes sense now. So they're in this year, well the year it was filmed was like 2015, so I suppose then the flashbacks would be to 2014, the previous year. And 
you can see how they were the year before and the year now and the story does eventually come full circle because her best friend who's supposed to be there for her while she's having this like mental breakdown isn't always necessarily being the best kind of friend that you think that she should be and this is explained right at the end what's going on and things kind of come full circle and it's like oh right that kind of does make sense and it's like well that was a bit bitchy actually do you know what and they, they do accuse each other of being bitches at times and I think you can safely assume when this film ends that things between them may never be the same again. I'm not going to say they've split up as friends at the end because the way the film's going it's very possible that the following year they'd go back to the lake where they've gone and they'd be best buds again. It's just at this point in time they're just a bit emotionally unstable, having breakdown, Catherine in particular, and it's just all a bit of a crazy film but not crazy as in ah, crazy it's just crazy and emotional it's like it is an emotional roller coaster I'm not really sure who you'd want to see this film with now one of the reviews I saw said you need to be in the right mood to watch this and I 100% agree with that statement I can't remember who wrote it I was just just looking briefly at it and I actually agree with that. You do have to be in the right mood to watch this film. What that mood is, I have no idea. Um, and it's just, I think it's a film that grows on you because I watched it last night and I was like, okay. And I'm thinking about it this morning, thinking actually that I did actually enjoy it. At the time, I wasn't really so sure if I was enjoying it. And now I'm thinking actually I did enjoy it. You know, I, I would recommend this film. I really would recommend this film. But the problem is, I'm not sure who I'd recommend it to. Um, if you like arty films, it's good. If you like watching um, really well written, well acted films um, without any computer graphics, and it's not entirely predictable. Um, I was often thinking, you know, where the hell is this going? What direction is this film going in? What's happening? What's going on? And then you've got the flashbacks, and it all—it does all come together at the end. It does all, you know, everything does right at the end all kind of come together and there is like an aha moment when you're thinking oh right it's in one of the flashbacks and you're like oh right okay I get it now it's all kind of yeah it all makes sense now so I really did like this film and I do recommend it to people who like something a bit different if you're one of the people that like your average crappy Hollywood blockbusters that come out all the time with lots of special effects, you're going to hate this film. If, if that's what you like, you're not going to enjoy this. But if you like something a bit different, something a bit arty, something where you think, well, somebody's actually trying to convey a message and you're trying to interpret it, I suppose because it is an arty film, pe different people are going to interpret it in different ways. And if that's the sort of thing you like, then you'll really like this film. But if, say, for some something... If you're the kind of person that likes the Transformers movie, for example, you're not going to like this. So, but I do like this, and I don't like Transformers. So check this film out, get the DVD, it is on uh, Blu-ray actually, check out the Blu-ray, and um, yeah, watch it. Watch it with a friend, watch it with someone you're close to. Don't watch it on a first date. If you're trying to impress a girl for the first time, saying, look at me, I like arty films, yeah, and I wouldn't recommend this one. Maybe try it on like the third or fourth date or something. I don't know. Not, not a first date. It's not a first date film. Really isn't. Um, right from the very first get-go, okay, you are presented with this scene. Okay, I'm just putting up a picture now on the screen. This is Catherine... This is the start of her emotional breakdown, and yeah, that kind of sets the tone for the whole film. It doesn't really get much better than that, to be honest. She just gradually gets worse and worse and worse. There's a few things in the film that they don't explain, and they don't really need to explain it either. And that it's kind of there's, there's these two main characters, Catherine and Virginia. You've got a few other characters in there as well as a guy called Rich who shows up. Um, and kind of throws a bit, little bit of a spanner in the works, but he's he's there, and then there's some other characters, but they're not really the main important focus point of this film. The main important focus point of this film is Catherine and Virginia, 
and do you know I've forgotten where I'm going with my point I do that sometimes I just talk and talk and talk and actually forget what I'm doing or what I'm saying so anyway <laughs> I've completely forgotten what I was saying um, that is my thoughts on this film it is a really good film it's, it's, it's hard to to um, it's hard to find any faults with it you know if, if, if you look at all the criteria for a film you look at the story it's good you look at the acting it's good you look at the dialogue it's good you look at the camera work it's good you look at all the things I mean these are a lot of things that I look at in a film and I mention them in other film reviews and I say that these are all good things I have seen some places say it's like kind of described as like a psychological horror and it's kind of true but it's not a horror in the sense of like the conjuring where there's ghosts and jump scares there's no ghosts there's no jump scares it is basically a horror in the sense of how bad someone can get if they're having an emotional breakdown it's it's a realistic thing i mean i mean you have all these ghost films and stuff and you think and the people out there saying all oh, ghosts don't exist it's not actually really that scary whereas this is actually quite realistic because this is actually something that could genuinely happen this is somebody having a real genuine mental breakdown they have kind of completely lost the plot and it is quite scary the way it's going so in that respect it's actually more scary than say something like uh, The Conjuring which is very scary film but this makes you feel uncomfortable and there were a few moments I was thinking okay I'm quite uncomfortable watching this but that's the point that is I think what the, the director wanted to get across they wanted to get across the sense of being uncomfortable and that is exactly done well they is achieved his goal basically um, so well done um, yeah find it you can get the DVD um, blu-ray on um, Amazon so check out the Blu-ray, get it, buy it, watch it, there we go, that's all I have to say about it really, and um, there's not much more to say about it, other than that. So check out my uh, other film reviews, I've got, um, I'm doing a whole series of independent film reviews coming out each Monday, plus one cinema film per month as well, so check them out, uh, I'm not sure what my next cinema film is going to be. Um, not sure what my next independent film is going to be. I just go on the internet, look up new independent films, see something that interests me, find out if I can get it from somewhere, then I get it, and then I watch it, and I tell you about it, and there we go. So, yeah, if you like this, click thumbs up, check out my other film reviews, and uh, if you like them, subscribe for more. I also do other things on this channel which have got absolutely nothing to do with film reviews at all. So check them out. They might be interesting to you or not. You might just want to stick around for the films. And I'll see you later. Bye.